Hello and welcome to The Crazy Train, episode 46. I'm your host Rob Wade and I'm joined by Spike Direction. I'm so crazy, you already know, I'm in the fast train, from LA to Tokyo. Nice. And by Karma. At the crazy, whoa, 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 talking at the crazy train. If we ever end up with a theme song, that's it there. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, not even actual crazy trains could keep us away today, although we are a little later starting than yeah, usual. Yeah. At the time of recording, I have been through one of those days where you just don't want to work anywhere outside your own house anymore, <laughs> no. ever again. <laughs> I've been, oh God. It just speaks to the shittiness of the South the, Eastern. Yeah, it's, you know, other railway companies are available and also similarly shit. Southern. <laughs> um, they win the prize at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's one of those competitions I feel like they're actually gunning for. It's oh like, yeah, this year that fucking awards are. They are in a race to the bottom. Champions. Aren't they? Fucking... Yeah, you guys are shit. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> just hold my beer. <laughs> But um, yeah, it, we had they had a, a train derailed this morning. Now, obviously, you'd think I'd be all in favour of that <laughs> being it's the theme of the show. <laughs> but, yeah, um, and I'm hoping, I'm guessing, nobody was hurt because I would have. I feel like it would have been mentioned somewhere that. Uh, De- yeah, yeah derailed doesn't necessarily crash, does it? it no, the train, train has like, derailed. Yeah. People did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, train delayed because of people did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yeah. Land on fire. <laughs> was that thing? I always think that thing Reginald D. Hunter said. Where he's like, oh, it, he did. I think you'll find it's he died. Yeah. No, he did. At, at well, first he died. he died. Now he did. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. He's, he's got a lot of great lines. So that's mm. what, that is a, that is a favourite. Um, yeah, so that happened at 6am. Now, obviously, I come back from work at not 6am. I come back after a day's work. Yeah. You know. Um, and even now, it's still completely fucked. They've shut down three out of four lines I think and they're running Ooh. just the high speed thrilling I know yeehaw yeah I know right and obviously that it drives me up the wall right and it drives me up the wall being on the crowded train anyway I had to get the tube which I fucking hate because obviously being the size and sort of height and gawkiness I am I'm not built for public transport that's too cramped <laughs> it's just not something I'm built for um, admittedly I take up a small amount of volume as compared to what I could take up if I was you know a podgier man that sort of thing like us no, just in general, like I was once. There you go. Yeah. I could just imagine you're at a right angle on a tube. Kind of. Yeah. It's basically, what you probably it does fold up like a set square. Yeah. <laughs> it is, but yeah, it's like being in Ryman's. It's just, you know, it's horrible. But um, what drives me out the wall is when the train is very clearly packed to the rafters, and there's some fucking pillock on the platform who's like, "Is there any chance you can move down?" It's like, I'm already, if this train lurches, I'm going to be wearing this fucking bloke as a puppet. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, you know, you've got your hand in, the, in a place where it's like, it's perfectly fine now. But if the train suddenly lurches, I will invade this man's yeah. personal space. going to be inside some Personal space in the most intimate way I could possibly yeah. think of. Someone pulls the chain. Funk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how it felt. But thankfully didn't delay me too much but obviously when you pulled yourself out <laughs> yeah I mean the trouble is obviously the bloke had to get off at Rochester with me <laughs> it happened shake you know? him off put him back on the train exactly <laughs> I wonder who that was sort of sheepishly slinking out of the apartment when we arrived yeah, I know. <laughs> poor Terry puppet trying desperately to get a new what an unfortunate where surname the fuck as am well. I? Yeah. Mr. Puppet Mr. Puppet <laughs> who ironically was a puppet yep it's weird is he sells props and stage costumes, but not <laughs> yeah. puppets. That's bizarre. How's everybody doing? Um, well, the, compared to your logistical nightmare, mine's been quite minor. That's good, yeah. My hamster died. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Nah, so it's fine. So yeah. you're here for the, you were here for the pity last episode. This is the way. I like this. Yeah, I've got yeah. A, what, what, what small Fuck your train, of pity can I get now? Yeah. No, it was just... The try. I was trying to work out, this is a bit, work out what to do with her, though. Because, like... 
I, you know what the weather's been like the last couple of days the ground is like frozen yeah. solid at the moment yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like no way am I digging a hole for this creature without intense back breaking effort yes. so what I thought was is it okay for me to just box her up quite respectfully and then put her in the brown garden waste bin Okay, because that's what I did Right. Is that is that okay? That seems fine. Yeah. As well. long as you made your piece. <laughs> yeah, I I, did, I said a few words <laughs> over yeah. the wheelie bin. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's a bit like, hmm, this yeah. is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are gathered here today to bid farewell to Lily. Very nice, appealing hamster, very friendly. Yeah. Um, and now in she goes. You know, yeah. amongst the, the I, sword. I, I love the that. idea you were halfway through your eulogy and then the bin men came and you were just like, just a minute! <laughs> <laughs> just, I haven't done my song! <laughs> oh, Danny boy! <laughs> Back so hamster. <laughs> 15 gun salute, you know. <laughs> if a dead, you know, fold up a flag and throw it in on top of that. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least you really just go. Uh, out of interest, right. what do you use? Like pets at home banners, or <laughs> does a just fold up? You use the flag from Syria. Oh, okay. The Syrian oh, hamster. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So, this is from Hamsterstan. Probably the most peaceful Syrian death has been in a while. Ouch! <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? That was bad. It's right? staying just, in. It just popped up. Popped up. I'm sorry. It's staying in. There's three of us, so we might get lighter material. So unless you say something <laughs> yeah. libelous, just be prepared. Okay. But... Yeah, that's cool. But you know. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately we did have um, plans to hopefully get uh, Crouch in as well, but he couldn't be with us today, so uh, I was about to say R.I.P. Crouch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we had to put him in a box and yeah. then, you know, put him out in the brown <laughs> bin. Put him in he's the garden, in the garden bin. He's <laughs> fucking livid because he's not dead. <laughs> Just like, what the hell, guys? Because they yeah. put it on that hoist. Because he was so angry we had to gaffer tape it shut, it was bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just, you know, because obviously if he thrashes around too much, he disturbs the compost. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> and then it's just, it doesn't settle, is it? It's a, bit, it's a bit more difficult for the burly men to lift him into the truck afterwards. <laughs> From experience, yes, it is. <laughs> I've hidden in a bin for burly men <laughs> once or twice in my life. I'll have you know. I call it Thursday. <laughs> Good I'll for be, you, man. My bids come on a Wednesday. It's Tuesday, but never. Oh, no, mine don't do as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thrilling. This is why they never come. Logistics. <laughs> is this what happens when Serving it's just us three? Cow. We just talk yeah. about really mundane <laughs> train journeys and when the bins come. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. We miss you, you guys. What's funny is we were talking we, about really interesting. We were talking about films and music and TV before we started recording. Press record. So as we hit the record, it's like, so, um. When do your bids cut? <laughs> You had any uh, any circulars through the post? Uh, I've had some pizza. I got the net yesterday. The what? Sorry, the net. <laughs> it's like a really little shit local yellow pages. Oh, wow. the oh net. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my favorite. One of my favorite adverts ever was in the net. Okay. <laughs> It was. See, this is why we, this is the mundanity is fine because it. Yeah, no, no, I, the hilarious. Look, guys, I can pull it back. I can pull it back. Won't <laughs> you quit on me, Blake? <laughs> I will dig we'll, deep, we'll, deep enough like, and like, get the humour. You know, my favourite thing was that um, this guy, even though he had paid for like front page advert space, which I assume is probably slightly more than you know being at the back somewhere and with nobody. Yeah. Covers. Before Unless you have to print a retraction. It's, it's, it's going to be premium. It was. It was a guy. It. It. Well, I hope. It, that it is some form of like um, pest control service. Oh, shit, look at that. This is getting dark fast. <laughs> but it was, it didn't really explain what he did. It just had the name of his company, Death, <laughs> a telephone number, but instead of saying what it did, it just said, What's the nest? <laughs> With a question mark. It says, What's the nest? Question mark and a telephone number. So I like the idea that you would. Ri- I love the idea that you would ring it up, and this man would just come out your house and go, "Here you are." <laughs> 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 I love, I love you it. You could have one delivered to you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit bored. It's I'm like this would, you know brighten the place up a bit you know, you, make it more exciting <laughs> did you see that thing a while ago that was ship your enemies glitter yes this right. is like a really extreme oh, version yeah. of that it's like ship someone you hate a wasp's nest <laughs> <laughs> when well, they open the box there's the fuck what I like the idea that they get there go right ready you got the box shake it up a bit yeah <laughs> agitate them <laughs> yeah slowly own, open it and throw it <laughs> and launch <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing Lee. 
But yeah, that's the thing. You can see they're coming down the road because obviously they'll be in the full on armor. Yeah. Like, beast, beast <laughs> I think you're going to say they're coming like a yellow and black van. What we like was on top. Yeah. <laughs> just like a giant, like one of those giant wasps that just yeah. rocks backwards and forwards. <laughs> just one of those giant models that just sit on the top of those vans. I was like, are you aware, sir, for an extra fifty pounds, you can upgrade to our four killer hornet service, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for an extra hundred pound, we'll also smother the house in honey. <laughs> so they even wax up all the doors afterwards, <laughs> so no one could escape. We make it extra sugary. It's all great. <laughs> Well, actually, we've got a diabetic in the house, so I don't think that'll work. For us. Well, we've got one with stevia, sir. Yeah. Well, I'm saying How does that even work? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm on another call, sir. Yeah. Excuse me. So there's a diabetic in the house, and so, uh, and you're caring for his safety, even though he is obviously your enemy. He's in, a, in a house filled with wasps, well, sugar is going to be the least of his worries. Well, I'm not being funny, mate. I'm not a monster, all right? Yeah. I draw the line that I, I happily send a wasp nest to my enemy, you know, shaken up and launched for maximum vigour. But I draw the line that making him <laughs> have up, high sugar yeah, levels. Up his sugar yeah. levels. We don't want to crash. Now, we don't do we? need a hi- <laughs> we don't need a hypo. What we want is a series of poisonous allergies, a series of large amounts, large quantities of tiny amounts of venom injected directly into his person. But I tell you what, hopefully his eyes. If I mean, want, <laughs> yeah. If you send around dairy milk buttons, we will fucking fall out. <laughs> Sir, sir, you mean? Do you still mean to be on the line? <laughs> no, I should have hung up several minutes ago. <laughs> this, is a, this is a ramble. Yeah, we're, this, we're, we're getting way off. I was track. really so, anyway, you'd given Go up back to the original subject. Wasp-ness? <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the best thing about it. It's not. It's the upward inflection of wasp-ness. <laughs> Question mark. Yeah, that's what that's makes it. Wasp-ness. It didn't say. Whoever it is and co, sorry, you're not getting your free plug. Because <laughs> I can't remember you. Let's be fair, somebody can find this fairly swiftly. <laughs> trash yeah. wizard. Well, the, trash, well, wizard. Yeah. trash wizard wasp be, assault. Blue the clown. Yeah, welcome no. to the trash wizard wasp disposal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sitter nation in which I find myself. <laughs> Wasps. Now I think about it, the first time I met him, I did hear a faint buzzing sound from his trolley. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for a CB radio to, you know, call for help because I'm covered in wasps. He was also horrendously stunned. Something's buzzing. That's me. Sorry, that's me. No, that's, right. uh, oh. You know. Uh, I'm on didn't turn this yeah. off. I thought, I thought, I hope it's not me, but then I realised I took my battery out because it's the <laughs> only way that's I can turn. a bit more serious. Well, that's the only way I can turn my phone off because it's an S2, right. so it's a bit old and weird, and it you cannot turn it off. <laughs> if you turn it off, it just turns back on again. It's like no, I can't let you do that, Dave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like this phone. You cannot turn it off. You I have... like my phone. It's a bit old and weird. <laughs> It has got some eccentricities, like a, like a sort of like an elderly person. I like the idea of a five star review for a Samsung Quirky. product mm. being good because it's a bit old and weird, <laughs> and it's Mac unique USP. You know? If you like, I'll go on to like Amazon and find an old S two or something and review it thusly. <laughs> <laughs> it's it good has good. developed certain old people eccentricities. <laughs> it's got a few, also a bought words. the Samsung Galaxy S two. Also bought wasp nest. <laughs> Hamster coffin <laughs> and brown bin specifically designed for hamsters. <laughs> just imagine somebody shopping. I'll tell you what, Barry's pissed me off. Let's send him a wasp nest. All we can get, we can get it tomorrow if we do Prime, yeah. <laughs> and we can chuck in the dead hamster. <laughs> They've offered it together as some sort of weird promotion. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's like got... the Amazon buy all three of these. For <laughs> <laughs> I'll, ta- I'll, ta- I'll tell you what, actually, Sheila, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. What's this I... glitter and the dead <laughs> I'll Tell you what, Sheila, I'll take it back. Galaxy S two and the Galaxy S two. Sheila, I'll take it all back, right? If we wait three to five days, we can get a one pound promotional credit for digital movies or books. <laughs> Has anyone ever actually used that? Yeah. Because I always, when the I time always for, comes I forget to buy one, I, yeah, yeah, I forget I've got them. Yeah, I mm. forget a lot, but um, I have used them once or twice. A lot of the time, I forget I've got them and then they just get automatically applied to my order. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like loads of them. Yeah, yeah exactly. You've done, yeah. Oh, you've got a free. <laughs> Complete Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't well, that's the thing you don't want to forget is that if they actually if the promotion was you get a free wasp now. <laughs> yeah, you want oh, to be careful. Oh, I forgot about, about this. <laughs> <laughs> I love just you know tomorrow I get an email from eBay. It's like this month only pay when you sell wasps now. <laughs> <laughs> be like, well, I mean, you know, I like the idea that you're looking on eBay. Oh, are you still interested in wasps now? <laughs> Wasp's nest you for were Barry. looking at this the other day. I didn't know if you wanted it. Would you like it personalised to say Barry? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we can encourage the wasp Pine to build is, a nest in yeah. the shape of the name Barry. <laughs> An item you reviewed is now, it's soon, it will soon be running out. What are you trying to... <laughs> I'll Would let you like to click expire. buy it now or bid on one? They can train them to sting an abusive message across their enemy's chest. <laughs> it's like the, the idea of the person selling wasp nest. You have received a best offer. <laughs> you fuck off. <laughs> you pay full price for my premium wasp nest or you whistle such. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but, yeah, I've never found a better advert. In that that is rather good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. that is excellent. I have to kind of think like trouble is I see the, be- the only good one I've ever seen other than that was that bloody legal name fraud thing what's that one you know the billboards oh. about legal na- legal name fraud is a crime or whatever oh. or using a legal yeah, name yeah, yeah. and literally no one knows what they're on about <laughs> like they popped up all over the country and people couldn't it's like but, what because people weren't even sure what a legal name is and what it's yeah, yeah, I wasn't that sure How about do you it. Defra- like, I, I, obviously, I know what my legal name is. I'm Rob Wade. Well, that exactly. But what, how how might I use this for fraud purposes? How Just, is, I'm asking for a friend. How <laughs> is your he, actual name? Because yeah. your actual name is your legal. Crazy name. legal disclaimers. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> no, like, yeah, it's there were like experts. Well, surely, in, I mean, legal the, name fraud would be you know forging your name. I'm guessing. Yeah, well, that know, which we all know is illegal anyway. So or maybe it's like, like when, putting billboards up when there. people you know like I think, to think they're secret agents. They have a code name. They used to sign on. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Like, no one knows like, what they're going on. Who's signing in their game attack, really? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you're here to claim job seekers under the name Bonglord69. <laughs> <laughs> the noob player 87. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was wondering about that when I was younger. Like, and Blood Medusa 53. <laughs> I just wondered about that when I was like, when I was a kid, you know, people who only sort of deal, because obviously now the world is so, it's so big, but it's so small because we're all connected with technology and stuff. Like mm. obviously I've got, you know, we've all got, fr- most of us have got friends somewhere else in the world and we might have friends that we only know by their sort of, their handle, like some sort yeah. of. Oh yeah, I used to have a few back, yeah. back in the day. Back in the days of ICQ. But, um, back in, back in the days of. Back in there. Was it, um, <sighs> The forums that all ran on that BB. Oh, um, oh, fucking what hell! Was, um, what was that called? Oh shit! B bash dot bash dot org. No, well, it was um, something the, like that. It was the forum for this band. Uh, oh, okay. You remember the Barbs? Right, Moody and Bell. Yeah, yeah. I, think that's, yeah. That, I used to majorly follow them around really, yeah. when I was like eighteen, mm. up to I think they split up when I was like twenty-one. Yeah. Um, and I just all the people all the people on there to this day I only know from their like username handles and I met quite a few of them like I met quite a few of them in the flesh and I never actually learned their real name yeah that's it that's well, what I was wondering I was it's, like skinny cat it's, yeah. and it was the moderator I met him that's what I was wondering no know. idea what his actual name was did you sort of you know if people did that and they sort of maybe they got into because I know people who've kind of met over the internet and they've ended up in a relationship and stuff and they're, yeah. they're very happy together for that still never learn each other's real names exactly they're just <laughs> like, like oh, do you right? take noob grinder 42 <laughs> to be your lawful wedded husband should anybody object speak now or forever hold your peace <laughs> I object and who are you noob grinder 42 <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's the thing. There were some people I know only by their nickname. I mean, the Grinder Forty One. Well, you guys he's committing. He's actually new Grinder Forty Three. He's committing legal name In fraud. fraud. Well, obviously, I first met you. With you guys all call me Spike. You're the only people who do that. Which I yeah, find yeah. actually, which I find brilliant because that's my, my alias from my old band. Yeah. Um, and well, uh, you were introduced to me as Spike Direction, and obviously it was due to me. As, and, and Joe was introduced to me as Sour Crouch. So. I mean, <laughs> we've stuck with it because it's easier than having two Robs, I guess. But yeah, it um, helps. It helps. But um, I could, to be fair, take up another nickname. I've got, you know, I've got my rap. <laughs> no, I like it. I, 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 find, I find it quite prehensile in, dick. <laughs> it's slightly weird and endearing that it actually caught because for years it didn't. Yeah. Like because none of the band would call me it because they all knew me for, for years beforehand so but one time another band that we were playing with who were a bit younger than us they come up and they'd met us a few times at gigs before and like they all met, we all met up at a, a gig and one of them come up to them before I'd arrived and was like is Spike here and they're all like who? <laughs> <laughs> oh Rob <laughs> legal name Rob. so when, it, when you guys all actually call address me as that I'm like 
Oh, if this feel, it if, worked. If it, Finally, if, I've if, shaken if, off the shackles of my identity. If it warms your heart, let, know that also any Crazy Train fans I've spoken to who've mentioned you have referred to you as Spike as well. So, yes. In the end. <laughs> yeah, but well, that is my only name, yeah. by the way. I yeah. don't have another one. No, of course Definitely not. Of course no. not. Of course not. You do realise that legal name fraud. <laughs> it is. Right. According to that <laughs> bill, that is. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's it. Using Spike instead of your legal name is fraud. <laughs> maybe that's it. Well, you know, obviously we put it in public domain. But then again. As I said, there's a guy. Uh, I mean, I've never really had much association with him, but uh, but I know he's been around, you know, Medway Town a lot. But there's a guy called Fubar. Yeah, Fubar. Yeah, I I've no idea what Fubar. Yeah, I know, Fubar. I know his real name. It's something. I bet it's something really. really I bet it's something really shit. Incredibly like, mundane. It's, it's it's just. Please a, tell me it's Jeff. I, w- I can. I might be able to bleep this, so I'm going to say it. And worst case scenario, I can cut it. You just, or you could, you could um, if you can't bleep it, just sort of reverse it or put white noise on it. You can, you can do that. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'll leave a little gap. And... Oh, okay, I'm Aww. Aww. Wow, that's kind of blown my mind a bit because he's just, uh, I can't even. Yeah. Put if it you on. ever need to piss him off, that's a good way of doing it, in my experience. I've, I've not but seen him for got... about six no, years. Likewise. No, he's one of these guys that would do that, and to be honest, I. He's always acted a bit of a dick in my experience. Anyway, I, so. Right, so I'll have to cut a little bit more than that. I thought. <laughs> I thought he was. I I kind of thought he was a dick at first, but then I really got to know him because uh, I used to go down to tap where he worked mm. every Monday. Before I Monday, I did bump into him, but he never really used to talk to me. Or, or no. when he did, he seemed well, to be definitely time for me to learn to bleep things. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Boop was a dick, and I thought you know at first I thought that, but actually he's Boop. Already getting to know him. <laughs> no, he's. Um, I'm going to bleep it in ways that make you sound like you're absolutely running him into the ground. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, I thought he was a boot when you met him, but actually he's an even bigger boot when you get. <laughs> Does he listen to the show? I don't know. Probably not. I think we're. I think we're safe. I don't think I'll meet him again, again anyway. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> he did the thing that really amazed me one time. I think I actually told you about it last time we recorded on the way home. But um, Amen played at Tap and Tin. Okay. Like it, I think, and I think this is hearsay. So this may not be true. But hearsay I, played as well. No, no, no. I <laughs> heard this afterwards. But right, that, that was a that weird ended up being, <laughs> Amen played at Tap and Tin, and they played, and it was so poor that they ended up, they ended up being their last gig, and they split up in disgust afterwards. Fuck. Um, because Casey Chaos was so fucked up. The and worst. There were so few people there, and they just, and they kept. It's not worth it. They, they got really like, fucked yeah. off with it, and they kept wanting to like cut the set short and just get off stage. But sure. Fubar mm. would not let them. He was uh. front and center, shirtless, fighting everyone like moshing like mad, yeah. and every time. We, Casey Chaos was like, that's the end, I want to go now. He'd just be like, no! <laughs> and like, reached his, because you know, he's a big guy. He's, 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 a tall, he's a tall guy, and he had yeah, really long guy. arms. He just mm. reached up onto the stage and grabbed him and wouldn't let him go. <laughs> I'm stood at the back just marvelling at this, because yeah. he literally wouldn't let him get off stage, so they had to play more songs. The worst <laughs> I've ever done is I got kicked out. It was I, amazing. I not kicked out of a band, but we mutually agreed that I wasn't a good fit after the first kick with the tips, because mm-hmm. it was just mm-hmm. awful. Like I was in terrible shape, so my lung capacity was even worse than it is now and bear in mind I'm not in terrible shape now but I'm not in great shape I'm still like even oh, now having suffered to, with that yeah it's it, it's one of those annoying things where I've been to the doctors loads of times and they always send me for the same test and the same test always come back with the same results you never they never seem to get any progress let's send him for something different no I've had real. that with my foot because you know I won't bore you with that again but I remember your foot, my foot well. yeah and I keep going around in circles with it too but the lung capacity wow it must be bad it's like can you go around in circles <laughs> it's got a distinct Run. list to port <laughs> it's, like, it's like rowing with one oar yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the lung capacity thing I am um, yeah. I mean, you had that when you're like singing on stage and you kind of get a bit carried yeah. away and then you just go <gasps> and you can't you literally can't get any more and you're on out the, and, you're on the, and the worst thing is when it happens and you're on the microphone so yeah the people just hear you like <gasps> and I was <laughs> I was yeah. the singer I didn't have an instrument there was nothing no. else for me to do except sing and I was just I'm like I just stopped the middle of the song I was like I'm too fat for this <laughs> That's one of those uh, singing is one of those weird things that you can just be in the wrong shape for without being actually in terrible shape. It's yeah. just you can be wrong, you know. You've just got to you've got to be able to have a you've got to be able to have enough breath in your lungs breath. to get to the end of well, the, the where next place. You know, the take a breath. problem was when when I used to do BCC. It yeah. was, um some of the more energetic songs, especially when I'm doing lots of singing as well, is to like keep playing. You know, so obviously I'm playing quite fast, frenetic, you know, sort of punky type stuff. That hand and action I'm, is doing you no fun. Uh, yeah, I know. And I'm shouting. <laughs> and I'm shouting. And I'm shouting. And then I'm going like, 
Yeah, there were a couple of songs, particularly you know some of the hell like when we used to do like Bad Romance and that. Yeah. That by the end of it, I was like, I have absolutely no air left because obviously I'm jumping up You've and down. You've yeah. yeah. I'm shouting. And uh, yeah, and obviously there's only so much air I can intake whilst you're doing, I'm doing all this. And you don't, because Blake's a drummer normally, but in BCC he played like the washboard. Yeah, you? hence, that's what I was hence the wanking motion. Yeah, that he was that's making. what I was like I'm trying to help yeah, out. Yeah. Because um, you don't have the luxury of even sitting down, do you? Because you're like, you're doing your, well, the your wanking motion on the washboard. I had a stomp box that yeah, I was on. It while standing up and singing. It's like, yeah. fuck your life or I'd, be, or I'd be playing on a kazoo as well so that would be nah. even more bloody air <laughs> oh for the, just a little bit of air you've got left you need a little instrument just to yeah. really drive it home how it's just take the last little bit that's why I had a fucking yeah, harmonica I need, a, yeah. <laughs> need to just suck my soul out you know <laughs> Just like a dementor. That's the stick that can do up your nose. That's possibly the, the worst thing bit. about it. Is it sucks your soul out and it makes a. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I've got a kazoo dementor. It's lovely. kind of sadder than that. It's sort of... <laughs> <laughs> So we had questions. Um, so in the spirit of trying to help out where he could, Crouch unfortunately couldn't make it with us, but he did send us some questions that he would like to know the answer for too. So. Uh, he has. He, he's I'm terrified. He prefers. Oh, okay. So there's there's two. This um, Crouch's mind. What has he come up with? Yeah. Mm. If you could meet anybody you wanted this second, who would it be and why? Uh, what, for one second? No, no, not how long? <laughs> how long for? Fuck me. It's like just say. Let's say. Right, <laughs> I'll reframe oh. it. Oh god, again. Okay. I'll reframe. <laughs> well, oh, that, that was, was that was certainly Churchill. <laughs> Oh, yes. I've, I wouldn't I've, even get that far, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would just be... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or that the little meerkat going... Sim. <laughs> but, yeah, so it would be... Let's say for argument's sake, I'll try and expand on it to make it a bit more... So I'll add some conditions to it. Imagine this fourth chair here, which is currently empty, because, let's say, it couldn't be with us. Um, R.I.P. Yeah. Never in forget, Crouch. Still in our hearts. Still in our still hearts. In our hearts and still in that brown bin. <laughs> <laughs> because as we established, bin day is not today. Yeah. <laughs> I've established bin day is for several. It's not for a couple of days. Um, well, no, it's definitely tomorrow, not Thursday. If you could reply, if you could replace this empty chair with anybody you wanted for the evening, who would it be and why? Are they going to be on the podcast? Yeah, but that doesn't have to. Don't think of that as a like. Oh, I would bring you know, I would bring Benjamin Disraeli, but he doesn't seem like he'd have a lot of witty anecdotes. <laughs> he probably he's quite good. Dude, Maybe Benjamin Disraeli. Yeah. He's got a lot. We of... Don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. Oh. We know more for a bloody Family Guy joke than you do for anything else. Anyway, yeah. So imagine it's a a fourth person. You can talk to them about anything you want. Imagine this, it doesn't have to be recorded, but the fourth person to be in the room with us this evening, who would you choose and why? Um, well, I'm certainly thinking about it, but I think I'm just gonna, my initial gut answer is quite a, a, not that funny, but it's just... It doesn't uh, have to be funny, it's my, just my, interesting to people. My late grandfather, Jack, who... Because oh. I, di- I didn't know him, but he died when I was seven, so I didn't know him properly, you know, I just knew yeah. him as a... Like, I used to play around with him when I was little, and re- he was like... <laughs> wrong pod- sorry right wrong podcast no, just- <laughs> look forward to that never <laughs> <laughs> the, the trauma cast <laughs> no, I meant but, the pedo cast yeah, yeah, yeah. that's never happening yeah. the trauma cast will come before yeah, but, so to um, speak <laughs> or no, just because just because I didn't know anything about him I, all the like proper serious stuff about yeah. him and his life and the stuff he did I only ever heard second hand so I'll like, t- tell you what I mean, I'll come around for another round of this because I like the way this is going actually okay. yeah um, okay, so you would have your granddad just because he... he was in he was in the war and stuff, and like oh. he wrote a diary, but it's kind of been lost and stuff mm. like that. So yeah, and, um, yeah. I have interest. What day of the week? Because obviously I'm thinking about bin day, <laughs> <laughs> thinking around collection. Well, that so what been... after the evening? Is that how we dispose? He's going to go back. He's going to so die again. And I'm going to have a corpse to get rid of. Is that what it is? And every time someone, we bring someone back this second, bring, <laughs> they've got an evening with him, and then he's just going to like, Ugh. he's not going to disappear like a Disney movie. He's gonna, where they just Ugh. float away. Pineapple, <laughs> <laughs> pineapple, Disraeli. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
no. So what I mean is, it was just a joke about the fact that we'd said you put whenever things die in your house, you put them in the weir, in the bin. I didn't mean they would snuff it at the end of the night anyway. You have to dispose of the body. Like, so, it's a good oh, thing no, to bear in mind. Was... Only you, right, could take the uh, question of the realm of fantasy and just inject a mundanity of reality well, into it for the purposes of not, bin collection. I must admit, I, I misunderstood. I thought it was you get to meet them. But unfortunately, <laughs> if they're not dead. You just have to put them out with the garbage at the end of the, the, end of the next day. You have to, they're just sitting there on the side going, it's cold out here. <laughs> it doesn't matter who they are. At the end of the night, they die. So don't wish for anyone <laughs> fat. <laughs> Because then you'll have to do it. Like, don't, don't say, oh, I'd like to have the evening with Brian Blessed. Because at the end, he's going to yeah. die. And then you'll have a huge fat man to get rid of. Yeah. Don't ask for George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah, not ask for... how the books are going to end. Yeah. Because at the end, he'll That's die. the thing. I don't want to be sad and have, like, David Edward. Because obviously, we've got to keep him safe. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't think it's very good for his age to be sitting out outside on the on the on the you know on the pavement and there's no one there's no man there's gun, and then to be put in a bin. It's a heavy, it's a heavily urbanised area, so there's not much in the way of wildlife for him to narrate himself. Just foxes and pigeons, to. really. Here we see the same shit I see every fucking day when I visit Croydon. God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> and here we see a fox opening me up to see if there's some meat inside. <laughs> And he shat on me. <laughs> so is that your choice? I, well, I would so, like to meet I would, him. I think I would, he'd be a lovely, I, I, very interesting to yeah. talk to. Right, I will add, so, so because this has gone off the rails, as we are one to do, that's not okay. The, it wasn't, the original, it wasn't the original life. answer I was going to give, but it's not like I wouldn't meet him. No, I'm yeah. gonna, so let's say, for I say, it's just somebody... Fucking hell. Right, so, <laughs> so Spike's gone for his late grandfather because... It would be interesting to talk to him, hear his stories as and a grown person, as an adult. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, Blake, you can have a sentimental answer, and we will come around and do a famous person answer. Mm-hmm. And I will add the condition that nobody has to die at the end of <laughs> they the night unless end. they ask for it. Yes, <laughs> unless they just they're pay. with us is uh, so awful. Yeah, they hate us so much they pray for the sweet Kill release. Me. <laughs> We're only talking about it. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> I would have normally cut that out, but fuck yeah. <laughs> when will we free meet again to talk about people to put in the bin? <laughs> so you can have a sentimental answer. It doesn't have to be a member of your family. It can just be somebody who's no longer with us who you'd like to bring back for the night. And again, they don't sit. They don't, they just don't keel over. <laughs> uh. Well, um, if you guys are done with your recording, I go. Yep, the project saved and everything's ready. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, I mean, if I go for a sentimental answer, it would be to bring back my auntie. But that's okay. because I have obviously she brought me up, and you know, and obviously, you know, I do miss her lots. She brought she, you up. Well, you no, have, no, 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 no. You have parents who are both alive and well. What happened? No, no, no. Well, not brought me up. I mean, like she. <laughs> I lift him out with the bins one day. No, but I mean, no, I don't mean like that. I mean, <laughs> mum and dad she worked. Grew up with obviously, you. she she looked after us on like a couple, mm. a couple of days every week took us to school you know made us dinner that sort oh, of thing and that's up, and also went during like some holidays because my parents still had to work I mean obviously they would book off sometime but obviously yeah. they couldn't book off no that's fair enough yeah no, I had the same so um, yeah you know so that is uh, she sort of uh, and obviously um, yeah obviously when she when she died obviously uh, you know a bit of a hard hit because obviously it was, it was a, she was the first person that was close to me in life to yeah Passed on. The, the died. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to go like depressed trike. Uh, to uh, be fair, we have kind of set ourselves up for that for this. No, no, no. It's when you said that, and I would like that wasn't the answer. I, was, I wasn't going to give one of those answers because I thought that's not really an entertaining answer. But, it doesn't uh, have to be. This is, again, uh, I will repeat back the point. I yeah, made no, that was, that was my main reason. Yeah, but I mean, that, you can cut that. Bit that's fine. I repeat the the answer uh, I gave a, a while back. Right, so. Every episode is potentially somebody's first episode, so when they listen, they get a little insight into what we're like. So you know, we get a kind of understanding of what we value about people and stuff. So they get an understanding that we're morbid cunts who like to put dead bodies in the bin. It's no matter the size, all creatures yeah. great and small. So to summarise, I miss my aunt and food both a bit of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably agree. To be fair, and be like, yes, I was. I was. But uh, still can be. Mm. I'm allowed. You are allowed if you're listening. No, I'm just saying. Is that my insight of me? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. He was like a. It was. He was like um a, like an antihero, you know, like a, in the westerns. He's like, I don't want to be your friend. And he's really mean to you. But if you persevere, then eventually you find the, the soft nougaty centre. Kid, you're all right. Yeah. What is he a fucking topic, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But that's the thing, I never knew how we got that name either. No, I don't. It stands, I, for, just, fu- it stands for. I know what Fabio stands for, but I just don't know why he got the name. There's probably people and out did there. He give, did he, he give stands, himself the name or did he earn the name? He I stands for rock. He I stands for can... making bands finish their set as agreed. He <laughs> stands for rock and roll, or at least that one night he did. Certainly, yeah. I, I think I could probably find out what it is. We could do some research for, yeah, for yeah. the next. Let's, next let's time. do that. Let's, yeah. we'll, we'll just start with, with, with report back this weird it. podcast urban legend. Like we've yeah. we've had trash legend. That was season one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we we will moved start on, we've moved on to real people now. <laughs> we will start. Real. Yeah, we will start I've the Foo Bar Wikipedia <laughs> entry right here on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm going to do my sentimental answer. Okay. I have. See, so the trouble is, I've got two to choose from. I'm trying to. I'm struggling to choose because, it, like you. I had a grandfather who I didn't really know fantastically well, and mm. it would be interesting to know him as a as a grown man, you know, as an yeah. adult. I yeah. say grown man, <laughs> an adult, <laughs> a te- a technically an adult. Yeah, <laughs> um, but also, I'm going to go um, for a different answer, which is actually my uncle um, who passed very young. So that was more and. You know, it's not to say I didn't have anything in common with my granddad's, but at the same time, I was a kid. You know, I was like eleven, I think, when he passed. Mm. You know, and obviously, and he was quite ill, and you know that sort of thing. Um, whereas my uncle it was very sudden, and nobody was expecting it, so it's you know it's quite sad. And he was, a, you know, one of these people who you couldn't find somebody who could tell about a story where it, which cast him in a bad light beyond mm. like he could be a bit of a dope when he sort of, mm. you know, especially when he had a few. He once broke all his toes jumping off a <laughs> jumping off a boat <laughs> onto oh, the onto really? the. Um, Onto the key, yeah, whatever it's called. That's a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly a thing I've heard. <laughs> onto the wolf. land, yeah. <laughs> right. So, with that said, with the press trike back in the shed where it belongs, uh, three wheels of sad, <laughs> three wheels of sad, glittering in the macabre <laughs> breeze. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go around again and do a famous person. I will caveat: they can be a celebrity who's no longer with us and if you want uh-huh. they can die at the end <laughs> <laughs> sure sure why not by the way have any of those relatives that we missed have any of them actually worked in the bin collection in the waste collection industry <laughs> I couldn't no. say for sure about my uncle he did a lot of he did a lot of jobs I don't think so I don't believe he did no yeah. that would have didn't been have a mild man to dustman type for me. no no I don't think so <laughs> Right, so let's go around the room again, and we'll talk about just celebrities or just kind of influential figures throughout history. And like I say, they can be somebody who's no longer with us. Again, they don't die at the end of the night if they don't. You know, they just are not they responsible just for vanishing to the mist. Right. We don't have to do anything with their, you know, remains. deceased remains. I cannot believe I'm having to qualify this shit. But here we are, <laughs> Spike. What about you? Um, I could pick a few, really, but I think I'm, you can have a short list. In ter- okay. in ter- well, I'll just go for one in terms of. Having them as like a, a dinner dinner guest is kind of what kind we're talking of what about. We're talking it about kind of was sitting around the table just chatting with. Them. I think Isaac Asimov. I've decided. Okay. Because I really like his writing, and from what I know of him, he was a bit of a sort of a polymath, if that's the word. You know, sort of really into everything. Right. He was like he always was really interested in just expanding his knowledge of okay. not because he was a professor of something rather like scientist I think yeah and then obviously because obviously he was a science fiction writer mm-hmm. most commonly but he also wrote like murder mysteries and stuff oh, wow. okay. he, wrote, he wrote tons he wrote like hundreds of books to be fair I lifetime. wrote that kind of murder mystery yeah there's anyway, bits of it that it's kind of crossover isn't there yeah. yeah and there's um there's a series which is set in the universe of iRobot which is all murder mysteries yeah but it's like that's oh, wow. that's the really amazing thing about him actually is the way he started writing yeah when he was quite young writing for like pulp fiction magazines and stuff like in the 40s yeah and that's how he got his start just churning out stuff and that's where most of iRobot came from okay is and like the early like the foundation series as well is that the story from the story where um is that the the history uh, one where it's like the f- fake history of, of no no sorry I was I was going to do something I was going to make a joke but I, it just you know how you sort of sometimes you start a joke and the rest of your brain just goes no you can't nope, have it that's not a joke <laughs> you're not allowed this <laughs> what was I well, no the thing that really, the thing that really impressed me about him was the way he as he was writing retroactively made everything he'd ever written into one shared universe as, oh, wow. as he carried on right like because he managed to work the foundation series which is like a history of like a civilization over thousands of years yeah set in the far 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 future but he managed to eventually just sort of bolt it onto everything else he'd ever written so it was all of everything was just 
all about robots and it all fit into one continuous That's timeline. Awesome. So, but he was he knew loads about everything. Mm. So I think he'd just be really interesting to talk to. Yeah, he yeah. might he, you know he might be able to help us out with lots of burning questions we yeah, have. Yeah, he'd like, probably know the best way to dissolve, <laughs> dispose of a body. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be able to help us with our problem when he died at the end of the night. Yeah, he'd be like, you know, just before I go quickly. So what you want to do is do the, the oh, thanks very much, Mr. Yeah. Asimov. No problem. <laughs> yeah. 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 And before you go, what's next? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have it delivered to my estate. <laughs> <laughs> just, the Asimov <laughs> thing. Like, just go like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and put my hand with the middle finger in. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be stung. I'm alright with that. <laughs> to be fair, all I've right. been dead quite a while. <laughs> I feel nothing. <laughs> Blake, what about you? Um, well, I mean, I was originally thinking um, maybe not about actually in terms of uh, an actual dinner guest, I suppose I don't want like, because um, I was thinking like old people, you know, musicians I, I love and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and more I think about, you know, I love Metallica. I'm not sure if I really want James Hetfield in, you know, in a full dinner jacket. <laughs> I don't have to be in a dinner jacket. It's just no, like, like going, tea, you know? You know. Yeah. All right. It's I've got my old bin. I feel like once <laughs> once again, somehow, this has, com- this com- this has gone off in a weird bit, tear. Yeah. This, I, don't this think te- I don't think Texans and Monocles go, okay? <laughs> I think they do. That's oil country. <laughs> I want to see James Hetfield in a smoking room with a cigar and brandy and his uh, dressing gown and, you know, <laughs> Well, how about the, uh, the he, stocks are really going yeah, up at the moment? Just been, it, it's hey, swilling his brandy. Just yeah. swilling his brandy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but also another one because he had a big impact on my childhood. Yeah. It would be, actually, I think David Bowie would actually be quite a that's good a one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a perfectly good answer. I think that's cool. And I think, actually... He's he's make a good podcast guest, I think. I, I think, think he'd be good because obviously he has that he has that interest in a lot of different areas. Because obviously, he Again, same musician, sort of thing, isn't it? A lot of art, culture. Yeah, you know, he you know he added you know fingers in a lot of pies, if you will, in sure. that regard. Like Absolutely, the art and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think it'd just be genuinely interested to talk to him and you know about you know where'd you get these ideas from yeah, <laughs> and stuff yeah. like that cool. sort of thing. I think it'd be nice. That's to cool. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a, uh, a slightly odd one, George Lucas. Was it all so, part so of part, Partly because, you know, obviously it's... <laughs> Did you have the satisfaction of just screaming why into his face <laughs> for about five hours? No, I'm... I'm and then put him out of the garbage. <laughs> but I'm not dead. Did you get to watch him die? <laughs> no, so I, I'm... I'm. What the fuck shit on you like, George? I, I, you know, for, for all his things in the past which have been more questionable than others I love George Lucas and I'm you know obviously etern- as we all are I think we're, I'm eternally grateful for the world he created that we all enjoy so much and that is now living on in the form of you know the churning stuff. out new yeah. movies every year in the corporate machine it's like <laughs> wonderful but I'm kind of down with that if the, movies, if the movies are good I'm fine with this yay capitalism absolutely <laughs> if it gives me stuff I like then by all means carry on carry on um, Carry On Capitalism would be a weird movie by the way <laughs> that's the interesting point though is that, is that oft debated thing about how much of what we love about Star Wars George Lucas was actually responsible for well it's like you can make that well that'd be interesting you know, like because there's kind of people thing. like Ralph McQuarrie who I think mm-hmm. is kind of a lot of what John really, Williams and, yeah, you and know, what's the name of the Lawrence Kasdan Lawrence Kasdan there's Brian yeah. Muir who does all the sort of costume design and stuff exactly you know. these people all had made and again, massive you know, contributions the, and the actors and the yeah. producers and all the people who do like the people who do the CG work because I know Crouch would be keen for me to mention that because yep. that is you know as much as people can debate about whether it's too much or not enough or whatever it's a huge amount of work to do the CG everything in, that in film. Force Ooh. Awakens is amazing because yeah. it's ab- it's in absolutely everything but you can't tell yeah that is the, the, the good CG is like good editing you shouldn't ever notice it yeah it's, and it's, Force it's Awakens it. kind of achieves that apart from it's Snoke just, well, really well he kind of and, works in and format, in Rogue One's um, de-aged um, Peter I, Cushing and Carrie Fisher the, see the Peter Cushing I fucking love I was the, really impressed with it, but I noticed Fisher, it, and it, it took me out of the... It does, but at the same time, like I feel like... I don't think there's any way they could have put Putin Cushing in the film without anyone noticing no, it. Yeah, and, you could, and you couldn't not put Cushing in the film, because he's part of the timeline, and I'm he's cu- actually... I'm cool, if you I'm cool read with the, it for now. Yeah, if you read the previous um, the novel in the previous... Um, the, the sort of run which is Catalyst hmm. it ties in a heavily like the Krennic and Tarkin rivalry is really touched on heavily the man there and it's great 
And I mean, I fucking love Krennic anyway. He's like a man crush. <laughs> I can't I, help it. He's I think one with uh, Tarkin, I thought I thought originally when they showed like a bit of his face in the glass, that was going to be it. I thought that was going to be it. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to have a major part of it. I'm so really bold. I'm with so him. glad. That's my, the thing my about only, my only caveat to the whole thing. As, as impressed I was with the special effects and all yeah. that, my worry is that sometimes I find that special effects does age over time I think and I'm worried if it will look bad in five years time oh, I've heard they're going to oh, they're planning yeah. on going back and fixing it as uh, technology there's, advances there's the there's the possibility which I'm kind of happy for them to do that they can tweak mm, stuff as yeah. they go along but at the same time don't bank on it you know no. like it, it, it's there's certain the Rogue One like, special edition in 15 years would just yeah, sort of make it touch yeah, up yeah. again with extra yeah, attacks yeah. <laughs> add, add lens flare to everything yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to put a big rock around R2 always yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, only in one fucking scene in the, in the hangar, but it's a fucking it's great rock. Like, yeah, or it's like, yeah, they just take that scene from a new home that they changed where they added more boulders and that, yeah, yeah. but apply it to the whole trilogy and, and every other film it's in. Just more even, bold, even, boulders in every even scene. Even Force Awakens when he's just essentially asleep for all of it, just, just covered in boulders. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no use BB-8. He's covered in boulders. <laughs> Credits. The link at that, yeah. That's it. Don't use Vivian, he's coming in the end of the film, there's just like some bloke who just he's lifted the last boulder off him and just wiped his sweaty brow like, whew <laughs> and then he powers up. So yeah, and they're like, oh, and the, and the oh there's the last piece of they get, map. Oh, they, okay. get a, they get a readout on the screen like, what the fuck is all that about? <laughs> I felt the, every word. Tell me the title of episode nine, the last boulder. <laughs> the last I feel like since it, the since last so, at, the, <laughs> at the time of recording, they announced the title for episode eight yesterday as the last Jedi. Thoughts, incidentally, I like it. I like it. It's. Yeah, um, it's I nice think thing. I've come around to agreeing with Crouch's way of looking at it because mm. there was a, the, the an instant reaction on the internet wasn't was. Uh, oh, does this mean that Luke's going to die? There's and, loads of ways and, they could do it. And yeah, my response Absolutely. to that was. The last Jedi doesn't have to mean one sure. because Jedi, Jedi is the plural of Jedi. Exactly. <laughs> so the, the, you know, Luke and Ray can collectively be the last Jedi. And it's like, you but know, then Crouch point out, Ray's probably not going to become a Jedi. She's just going to be something else, her own thing. or in training or whatever. She can use the Force and wield a lightsaber, but she's not going to be a member of an organization called the Jedi not because that does not exist anymore. Yeah, this is it. He like, can. No. He can choose. He's. You in know, fact, Luke is like. This is what I'm wondering. The only like, reason that Luke counts as the last Jedi is because Yoda said, "You are the la- you know the last of the Jedi. Will you be?" Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. Only when you. But he was never a member Vader. of like a group. And even then, <laughs> Luke just went, "I'm a Jedi because." He well, said, I, I guess I, I must be. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't really. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Palpatine. I'm just carrying on the family business. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Family business, get the fuck out of here! It's like, but, yeah. ultimately, I don't think it tells us a whole lot. And no, people, people exactly. maybe reading too Take much. Your into it. it's, it's fun to speculate on that stuff. I mean, obviously, I'm on Talk Star Wars, and we break that stuff apart for on a weekly basis. And I'm sure that recording, the next recording we do, which at the time of recording hasn't happened since we had the title announced, will be an in- interesting. Also, we've one. got the jump on them. Uh, yes. Not if I, I won't be able to publish this in time. So you know, no. technically, no. Technically, yes, but no. So it'll be recorded <laughs> first and published words. second. That's fine. Um, but anyway, back to why I would want George Lucas here, because we sort of went off on a tear about how much we love Star Wars, which is all fine by me. Uh, obviously, you know, every podcast Two I'm on, it turns up. Two of us are wearing Star yeah. Wars t-shirts right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, to be fair, Star Wars turns up in most things I do. That's yeah. fine. I'm really yeah. letting the team down in my Bioshock t-shirt. <laughs> Not really. We've got a games cast recording next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I would like George Lucas to be here, and I would like... To criticise him. No, no, no. I would like to pick his brains about what he would have done for episode seven, eight, nine. Instead, instead of you know, well, they, like, well, I mean, they got rid of his plans, didn't they? They, they told did. Him. I want to know what they were. Hmm. They didn't say. Oh. I want to know what they were, and he might tell. You know, maybe if it was just for the evening, he might be like, "Well, I'm only here for the evening. Fuck it, I'll tell you everything, anything you want to know. Yeah. What's this? That's uh, that, Han, that should Han be. Harm became harm <laughs> becomes the Jedi. Oh God! You know, the funny is when I was a kid. Because when you play with, you know, you play with action figures and you can do all sorts of shit. I used to have Han turn up as a Jedi randomly. And you, know be the yeah, most, you know what would be the most... Fuck uh, it, Reese. He's Harrison Ford, he can do what he wants. <laughs> you know what would be the most disappointing I answer? Down. <laughs> is if he just got out, like, that, the Thrawn trilogy and he's just like, you know this book, Air to the Jedi? It's like, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I would have done Air to the Empire. It's like, fuck, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> yeah, that's it. That would... And you'd have got, and you'd have sat there and gone, and I'd have cast Gary Sinise to sort the fuck. <laughs> wow, that would work. That was ever since I read that. Yeah, movie, then after you'd be like, dear Disney, fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> dear Disney, shut it down, shut it all down. You're sincerely one aggrieved man <laughs> and they'll be like you heard him guys shut it down <laughs> <laughs> well if it's one aggrieved man we better do what he says <laughs> wait if that's all it takes the internet are already missing a trick are they? <laughs> what, what, what are they doing wrong yeah, so that's we're just talking to each other they should be sending those emails yeah, <laughs> that's they should, should be stopping that's the thing things. they shouldn't be so full of vitro they should just condense it into one man make him very aggrieved as a result and then have him as their messenger <laughs> stopping everything yeah yeah, maybe. <laughs> Say, like, I feel like the, whoever's. No. Although that would mean like, things like no, the most recent Ghostbusters wouldn't have been made. And... I could live without it. I, I mean, it's a, a perfectly fine movie. I, yeah, I enjoyed I could it. Live without it. I actually enjoyed <laughs> it very really well. It's, I mean, it's not the best Ghostbusters film. It's, it's not as good as the other two, fine. but I enjoyed it. It really did not deserve the extreme level of hate it got. I think some people that's just were defensive Why? at first, and yeah, then what it. then happened as well is Sony for some reason turned around to the director and said you know what you should do is say that everybody who dislikes the trailer is a woman hating neckbeard who lives in this basement they're like yes do that and then you know what happens when that happens people go oh, even more off your yeah. idea you get even, <laughs> even more on there yeah, like, exactly they're just like you, people can then get on their moral high horse about it it's like oh it's a movie but that Come was on. the thing it was yeah, like exactly, yeah. this film is now out on DVD and people were still hating on it even like, right. DVD that's a dead form I, mean, I know I get I mean, way, I mean yeah. fair but sure you know, I mean, way, it'll, it'll make stuff, a nice but, coaster you know it was yeah. all that sort of stuff so why don't you spend if you can spend like, £14 on the coaster you've got better things to do if you okay you got the film fine but why are you still going on to the Ghostbusters fan page or whatever like the you know the Facebook yeah, yeah. page and like still typing vitriol for like not only before the film was made yeah. during the film was made when the film came out and after when it's come out on the like, and the, the thing is no, go I love Ghostbusters okay. I've always loved it since I was a little kid mm-hmm. but it is not the holy grail it is not sure. the greatest movie ever made not by a long stretch it's just a very good film Star Wars doesn't appear once in the title precisely <laughs> um, like people didn't get that out of their tree when new Star Wars films came out people didn't get that out people... uh, 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 I could stop you there no, I, went back, I went back and looked at it on this day and yes they fucking did oh. <laughs> when um, the day they announced it I went back and I happened to look back in you know, I look, look back it's and see it's not like, the same though is it it's not, it was at the time there's a bit of it because they had a and female lead and a black but some of us did it some of us went fuck not not Disney not Star Wars episodes not by Disney it's like anybody hold me it's going to be the end of the world I Star just, Wars is dead I can't remember what I oh, said this, I believe like I say this happened I saw I went back and looked and I was like fuck man I wasn't I had no idea how good it was going to turn out I was just kind of like everyone that's had it. their worries well that's the point isn't it because you well, don't know thing, everyone was worried film, about never Disney be buying it because a lot of people were like well, we, they base it on what Disney had done before. And they're like, oh, they're going to kidify it or they're going to make it mm. crap. But to be fair, it's been kids' movies all along anyway. Well, well I know, I, but, but. You know, I know what you mean. Looking yeah. at it now, it just seems obvious that it would turn out the way it did. Cause, but I mean, then, they, obviously, we have the benefit they steer, of Because yeah. they, they, they did the same thing with Marvel where they steer that in a certain way yeah. and then they, like, they turned around their own movies and made them miles That's better. Good. They market it for boys because they always had the girl market completely fine. They never really had much. What's that? Sorry, for, I mean for children. Marvel they never and Star had, Wars. They, never oh, had the yes, girl, yeah. they had girls hooked because they had Disney princess, and you know, yeah, whilst, yeah. you know, obviously both both genders will like Disney films. That are, because uh, if they don't, <laughs> at a young age anyway. But I, I fucking mean, loved Marvel, but they, they could never. They, could, really they could never. It was very rare that they could hold a boy's interest. You know, because yeah, most, most people go off Disney when they get to a certain age and maybe get back into them later. I get that. We used yeah. to anyway. Yeah, I think they've not much anymore. Yeah, they've kind of changed that around. Yeah, but I mean, now they own you know Marvel and Star Wars. Things, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, and it's like Warner it, Brothers are just like you got the DC yeah, and Harry you know, Potter. <laughs> yeah, DC, you know the movies not not so much, and uh, Harry yeah. Potter is 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 gone now. You have to just let it go, and they're like, but 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 we can't but, because but money. Yeah. <laughs> we we need loads. We have to pay our staff and stuff. Well, that's it. Warner's are kind of knackered now. They don't really have anything other than the DC movies. Like yeah. in terms I'm, of tempo, I'm stuff. kind of you know cautiously optimistic that they'll they'll turn it round because I actually think that Marvel are starting to Marvel are stalling milk a little bit. Mm. In the right, and it's not that they're going to do bad movies. It's just people are just going to be like fucking hell. They're falling there's, into there's a, three a rut. This year. They're falling into a rut, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two. I'll see. That. I'm very excited about that because I think James Isn't... Gunn 
has not done a bad movie that I'm aware of. That's fine. I'll, I'll go and see he, He's kind of being given free reign. Yeah. Um, what else is there? What else is coming Thor, this year? Thor Ragnarok and uh, Black... No, not Black Panther. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And then there's Thor, a third one. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. That's Spider-Man looks like all it this could year? be good. Yeah, that's yeah. all this year. Is this the... Spider-Man's the extra it, one, isn't I'm it? I'm trying to think back to an older crazy train. Is 2017 the year that we said, oh, this is the year that's going to make or break it? Or is we, uh, we did go... Probably I, is. I'd have to go back and find the exact episodes, but I think... Because we obviously we're now in about, 2017, if that's the case. We did talk about how it would be in the next couple of years, it might start to be a little bit of overkill. And yeah. maybe we're right, maybe we're wrong, but, you know... Um, I still enjoy the film, then I would still go see the film. I liked Doctor I must Strange, admit, but I didn't love it. It's okay. okay. I think and it's. Civil I, War, think, I, I think Doctor Strange. I, nailed, I think St- St- Doctor Strange nailed the character and the feel, and like Dornamo is brilliant and that sort of thing. But the problem with it was that it was a fairly generic origin story. Yeah, that exactly. was the problem. It was a film that that you had to watch, yeah. so that you could appreciate it when he pops well, that's up. Like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it for what it was, even if the plot was a bit, you know, nah. you, 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 you'd seen it a hundred times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm excited about Thor Ragnarok because it's clearly gonna rip from Planet Hulk. Yes, that's a, that been that's been made clear. Yeah, so mm. I'm excited about it for that reason because I love that story. Okay, um, and I'm excited about Guardians of the Galaxy because, because it's Guardians of the Galaxy too. Exactly, yeah, and that because good. The amazing <laughs> thing about Guardians of the Galaxy is how it's done nothing but just take a name, really, and a couple of characters. It's it's really a, a and everything else is the totally the scarce, invention of scarce, the director. Yeah, scarcely B player kind of comic series, and they've turned it into this internationally famous property. Now it's massive. So that, I think you and know talking about make or break. Mm. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is going to carry them I think if, if, if everything's shit that oh, movie will carry me, them like, don't get me wrong oh, don't, don't get me wrong yeah. I think Spider-Man's going to be good as yeah. well I think I'm hopeful be good about movies. Spider-Man because Tom Holland was really good in Civil War oh, that, was like, yeah, the, that movie came to life when he appeared yeah yeah. anyway so to sum up that fight scene is pretty much what Civil War was about yeah. really yeah. <laughs> my feeling this is you know, not specific to Ghostbusters going back to what we're talking about this is a thing about Sony in general. They seem to be unwilling to have a movie that just gets released without some sort of attached controversy bullshit. Yeah, and also they had the interview. Well, they as well. had that in Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four uh, interview. Uh, the thing that annoys me about Sony's movies is they can't quite do enough to mask their corporate bullshit side, mm. like. Then, like, even if the movie's quite good, like, I have a really guilty pleasure for the movie Friends with Benefits, you know, okay. with Mia Justin Lacunas. Timberlake and Mila Lacunas. Yeah. I, I really enjoy the movie, but there's such blatant product placement all over it, like the way their smartphones or and like, tablets um, are all like really integral to the plot, and like they're playing with like their PlayStation Move at one yeah. point, and it's all so blatant. It's like and um, like the last Spider-Man movie they did, the same. Was in fact actually thinking about groaning with product was placement, and, like a Sony uh, licensed music yeah. all over it in really incongruous ways. And mm-hmm. ugh. is um, iRobot a Sony movie? Because that's got product placement up there, you know. Oh, all over we should the place. find out. Yeah, I but bet it is. That's a really bad example of product placement. Oh, that's yeah. a. Sometimes I think product placement can be fine because it's sure. a, if you, it's, you can if do it artistically uh, and it yeah. serves the story. It's it cast away. Oh yeah, or if it's, it's FedEx, it's, it's, or if it's just that. innocuous, where it's just like I mean, I've watched. Um, there's a video game called Quantum Break. Have you heard of it? Hmm. It's like it's made by the people who made Alan Wake and Max Payne. Ah, right, right. And it's got a TV series that's attached to it. And you wouldn't know it to notice unless you happen to have owned one in the past. But they're all using Windows phones because it's an Xbox exclusive game. Oh, so right. But you wouldn't know. Yeah, I did. No, I did notice that. It's not like they yeah. say, "Oh, you know, lucky the signal's great on this Microsoft Lumia." <laughs> so, oh, that's you know. the thing. No, they, they, no, that's a, but that's the thing. I think product placement can be okay when it's used in real it, to be realistic. And that, yeah. I mean, like that's what I said. You know, you'd be fine, perfectly fine with someone picking up a can of Coke, but if they picked up generic cola it would it would look weird mm. yeah or if they're just like oh man nothing you know, oh no no they sat there and like just the ice cold them, refreshing you know, taste of Pepsi that's, Max that's what makes our robot so nauseating is the, the way it laces up and goes thing of beauty it's yeah, yeah. Oh, they do that thing with Minority Report obviously the famous one for product placement what one do they do in that when they say Lexus cars and the um, oh uh, yeah, because like the, the the one that sticks in my mind is is iRobot cause when he goes um, when he gets the converse is delivered. Yeah, well, like, he gets a delivery and the guy looks at his shoes and he's like, yeah. "Oh, sweet shoes." And I, like, I remember my yeah, vintage two thousand four. It's like, "Oh, can I buy these? Can I go and buy them now?" Because the movie's out. That's the year I'm in. <laughs> uh, Final Destination yep. three was one that made me groan. All Final, the way Final, Final Destination three made me angry all the way through. I remember because I was, of product placement all the way through. Because it no, was no, like. It wasn't why. <laughs> 
Oh, it's, it's an 80s. Well, those movies film, are like, so shit anyway. Yeah, that's ridiculous. like their problems. Well, like, problems. Well, at a funeral, you're like, oh, this is so boring. If you got me a PSP, uh, <laughs> or get me a Game Boy, or a 3DS, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> get me an amazing Sony PSP portable gaming system available yeah. now from the cool no, but it, the other thing, was there's lots of things. You're like going when they go, oh, we'll stick these old CDs on when they when they like go into the thumb bins but then as you go oh I forgot my iPod and oh, like, yeah. little thing got that and I'm going oh fuck I remember one that is the one I was thinking of because that, that movie has got some of the worst writing anyway it really has uh, the, but, it is a lot of, but there's a lot of unintention, unnecessary product places because they do yeah. mention Get me a Game Boy. Get yeah. me a PSP. I forgot my <laughs> iPod. I forgot my phone. You know, or, you know, yeah. my, my iPhone or whatever. That, the bit that always sticks in my mind is that's the, the worst offenders that I can think of for breaking the show don't tell rule. Yeah, is because uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead is the main character. In yeah, that. that sounds right. And she keeps saying how she's a massive control freak. Right. Like, oh, I'm such a control freak. And other people say it to her that she's yeah. a control freak. But not once does she do anything controlling or freakish. <laughs> just Everyone just keeps saying that she's yeah. a control yeah. freak. Apart from trying to avoid death. Yeah. <laughs> what a bitch. What a- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so in short, fuck Sony Pictures. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. Like well, just they try and be, they could, if they could try and mask their rampant greed a yeah. little bit, or if they be could, fine. Or if they could just... They- like the reaction I would have been you know I would have not thought anything of it if the, the first Ghostbusters trailer comes out and there's loads of people who are just like oh man I can't believe they're remaking this this is going to suck and blah 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 and they just came out and said we're sorry you didn't like the trailer hopefully you'll like the next one or you know hopefully you'll come and give the movie a chance anyway and just leave it there what happened instead was you had like Melissa McCarthy yeah, going on it, late night yeah. talk show saying like huh, well it's obviously all guys in their basement it's like oh god you're missing the point so fucking hard it's crept up and hit you in the back of the head and then just you know because that movie was well even like part say, of the film has the whole exactly, but it's, yeah, exactly. It. it's just it's just like oh, yeah, this movie that. is fine it's a perfectly watchable movie I watched it and I wasn't sorry that I did yeah. but it was just I just thought you know what was all that fuss about either way you know mm. I think that there was there probably was no way to win with some of those people though because I mean some much, of them sure as much as you don't even say that not everyone who had a problem with the movie no I mean, they're the Brad, same people setting fire to their Ghostbusters films with their Walking Dead books, yeah. so. <laughs> well, exactly but then at the same but time you're never going to please those people that's anyone, it those so the really uh, hardcore I mean, ones who were determined to hate it no matter what the ones who are still going on about it now that you talked about well, so nothing, like, they, I, nothing they could have done okay. would have so satisfied you don't, so you don't even interact with those people yeah you give them the time of day you just let them get on with it because you know bringing it back into a more modern day because I've seen people both love and hate it in a similar way to Ghostbusters and to, to both extremes some people think it looks like it's going to be really good and some people are going oh my god it's a complete ruination of my childhood Ghost in the Shell Power Rangers oh okay I thought the design of everything when they were releasing pictures looked a bit dodge but the trailer looks cool the trailer looks like, like it, it looks might cool. be alright actually I'm, I was never a fan of Power Rangers I, I was uh, you see I've always had a weird relationship with Power Rangers where I loved it and hated it at the same time so okay. I think I if never the movie was shit, I could probably be fine. You were a precocious eight-year-old. <laughs> I, I, I could never decide no, my, whether I liked it or not. I think my problem was, was that my, in relation to, I mean, a lot of my, all my friends at school loved it. Yeah. And, you know, playtime was always Power Rangers and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, okay, I'll play with you, you know, fine. But the problem is, is that... I love the way he says it like, no, it's, right. like it's the charity service yeah, no. alright little Timmy no, no, no friends but, but, the other, the other, but the other thing was is that my dad had sort of already shown me a lot more grown up films than probably my friends had seen at the time mm. like I had seen Aliens yeah. and I had seen Kung Fu movies with Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee yeah and yeah like so obviously and, Kung Fu and, and so I was a bit like not really so you shown up. these films like Enter the Dragon and stuff yeah. or, or like you know some of like the early Jackie Chan when he got really really fast mm. yeah and to then go and like this is the Power Rangers and it's the most atrocious kung fu in the world ever <laughs> yeah. and everything slowed down to do the moves and stuff like that yeah. and that's that was all I saw and I just went and also the other thing that annoyed me is that it was the same episode every day yeah. it was quite yeah Four, that was it was the very formula. oh, oh Patty turn up and turn that going to beat up the, the monster will grow big so they will get the sword and then they'll get the crap out of it you well know. you can already see that that's the plot of this movie sure oh, yeah. probably this is it absolutely yeah you can't, you can't <laughs> stay too far from message mm. uh, but in a weird way I was a bit like yeah, I might actually give that one a go because it yeah. looks like it might be alright yeah, but then sure. again I don't have that childhood love of it if you did know did you I mean. see the um the fan film that they did the really dark like I Power Rangers really, 10 years later or whatever I it was that's really good. by the, the guy <laughs> on drugs no nearly but the guy that 
produced the Dread movie, whose name escapes me. Oh, um, fuck, it's gone. No, yeah. no hope. But he's done. Brain just went. No, you can't have. That. He I can also imagine that. angled it out. Of yeah, no, I, he also I, did I, the I, I, one. sticking coat over in it. <laughs> He also did Dirty Laundry, the Punisher one. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, mm, but then oh, he yeah. did the Power Rangers one. I forget what it's called, but it's um, it's like years later, and it's to do with one of the later enemies, which is like the Machine Mind or something. Okay, it was one of their like after Rita Repulsa, and that they had this Lost. different enemy that was like a machine based thing. And the idea is that that won, and it took over the world, and the Power Rangers all became depowered. Oh wow! And like. The, the pink one, the girl one, is the only one left, and she's been captured yeah. by the red one, who's turned to the, the other one, side, yeah. and yeah. they've all like all the rest of the Rangers have all been killed off in various ways. It's really dark. It sounds it. It's good. It's worth a look, honestly. But I, if I could just remember what the title of it was, mm. I could tell you to search for it. But probably Power Rangers fan film will probably get. I would have thought so. The, yeah. the best Power Rangers fan. And also, yeah. if you can't find that, just watch Dirty Laundry. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes, indeed. So uh, well, it's been a good amount of time, I think, chatting. So I think mm. it's you yeah. know maybe time to wrap this crazy train up and send it back into the depot I haven't thought this through <laughs> back into the shed <laughs> this yeah. went to weird yeah, yeah. so uh, thank you very much for listening to The Crazy Train <laughs> provided by Emotionally14 if you like what we do you can subscribe to us on iTunes and you can find us there and you can also find the E14 Gamecast which is the show specifically about gaming um, you can find the website Emotionally14.com that's digits not letters uh, there's a Twitter at Emotionally14 Facebook Emotionally14 and YouTube Emotionally14 you can search for us there find us Incidentally, speaking of searching, where can people find you guys between shows? You can find me on Twitter at BigBeat1985, but I probably won't reply because I'm awkward. Speaking of people who won't reply, Blake, where are you on social media? You can find me on Twitter at, at FuckSakeBlake, or also on the net, selling wasp nest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter at RobWadeVision, and you, like I say, you'll find everything we do at Emotionally14.com. Thank you very much for listening. Get on board. Peace. Peace. Choo-choo. Back in the bin.